Hi, welcome back to another proven sales letter breakdown video. And today I got a real, real treat for you because this is one of those extremely next level sales letters that you only see from people like Gary Bensavenga. So if you haven't seen my previous Gary Bensavenga videos, you should definitely check them out because he is considered to be the number one, like unequivocally the number one most successful copywriter alive today. Uh, he's retired now, but he has by far the most wins uh, and hit ratio in the industry <clears throat> when it comes to his the, the success of his ad. So uh, most people, when they can uh, write winning, winning ads or they can come up with the winning uh, copywriting promotion, 50% uh, of the time they're already like good enough. Most copywriters have like a 20% hit rate or something like that. Gary, well, he had an 80% hit rate. That means that out of every 10 promotions, he wrote eight became winners. And winners means that it beat every other's uh, ads. Basically, um, the version that Gary wrote that he came up with was the winner in these cases. So that's what it means to get the control. And he got the control in 80% of cases, which is unheard of even to this day. So it's pretty cool. And this uh, Megalog of his, so in the 90s, there was this specific marketing strategy called Megalogs. It's still available today, but it's not so wide, widely used now with the internet. But like you send out magazine subscriptions to people and various magazines, either free or paid, but like very, very low priced uh, magazines. And then they're full of content, but they do sell something at the end and usually they sell a subscription uh, to uh, another type of newsletter a yearly subscription or two yearly uh, two year subscription and there's a specific type of offer structure that goes into it and you can also learn a lot from this if you have a continuity program or like uh, you have a membership site or you have I don't know, group coaching uh, offers or something like that, you can still learn a lot from it. Uh, because the, the, the same fundamental offer, by the way, is still the same, uh, basically 31 years later in today's Agora promotions. It's, it's still very, very, very similar. So that's how effective it is. And it just shows you how uh, human psychology doesn't really change that much. People don't change. Sure, uh, tactics change and methods of communication change and like trends change, but deep down, what moves people, what they actually want from life, what are their major pains, fears, hopes and dreams, that doesn't really change. The core emotions don't change and that's why it's so powerful to focus on the original OG type of uh, sales letters and marketing promotions instead of today's oftentimes watered down versions that are still based on the same older stuff uh, but they're probably less effective or they just copy it they're not really that uh, creative anymore so uh, that's the reason some people are wondering like why do I always review these older ads well because they're the real thing and everything that you see nowadays in marketing is somewhat based on these ads well not just somewhat it's absolutely based on these ads so if you like this thing that I'm doing by the way uh, consider liking this video because it helps me out tremendously especially when it comes to YouTube's algorithm and leave a comment let me know whether you agree or you disagree with this whether I should uh, like break down more newer ads or older ads or have this type of a balance as well so uh, make sure to do that because it helps me out a lot and also these videos will get more reach and they will get they will reach more relevant people who are inter interested in these types of stuff so with that being said let's jump into the analysis of this and since this is super long and Gary Bensevenga was well known for his very long sales pages and sales materials like uh, the sales page for his $5,000 course is like 80 pages think about it 80 pages it's like a book in itself it's like a copywriting book in itself uh, and it's a sales page but it has so much content that you could easily fill a shorter book with it and it's kind of the same thing with this so it's like 24 pages uh, in total and you have like these three column layout as well um, but the thing is that long copy works guys many people are afraid to use long copy but it's it's nonsense even to this day people read stuff that interests them sometimes that's an ad most likely it's content but if you combine the two just like Gary did and Gary was super huge on like making your ad in itself super valuable 
okay that's what you want to do because then um, that has the highest converting power ever so the headline itself it's minimum it's it's brilliant it just says lies 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 with big bold red letters and you get these I mean I gotta get I gotta give credit to uh, the designer of this I don't know who it was but it's uh, it's brilliant because like the cool thing the big idea behind this whole thing is that you as the average Joe investor uh, you're fed up with Wall Street with big tech, with big pharma, with big banks, with, you know, all these big bureaucrats in Washington, for example. And you know that you're, you're lied to and something doesn't add up and all the money that gets funneled into the system somehow still disappears. You know, it still doesn't end up, it, it still isn't used properly. And Gary, like, managed to uncover this core mess fear and frustration that people have and he uh, wanted to use this to his advantage so he tapped into that big fear so uh, and also one other thing is that the whole big idea here is that we should band together and dethrone these people it's like uh, let's take back uh, freedom for ourselves let's stop the lies put an end to them and finally start getting what we truly deserve and it, this is a great point that some people think that the most powerful word in advertisement is you and it's definitely super powerful because like you always want to use you 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 in your copywriting but sometimes when you use it properly we can also be even more powerful not in the sense that how most boring corporations use it it's like we are this proud company and we have big heritage and blah 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 nobody cares about that believe me like as as soon as people see that the typical uh, corporate jargon bullshit they just phase out they don't care but when you can say something like why we investors are fed up with everyone lying to us uh that's something that starts a movement that's it's still you it's still addressing their like the target audiences and the readers frustrations and pains and and, and uh, uh dreams and hopes but band it together why we investors are mad as hell and not going to take it anymore and we're sending a message to Wall Street brokers, the IRS, Congress, the Fed, newsletter gurus, falling banks, lawsuit happy lawyers, professional economists, getting rich is the best revenge. So the big idea here is that do you want to stick it to all those crooks in Wall Street, in the IRS, in the Fed, in Wall in, in Washington? Well, you can you can basically uh, flip it to them if you get rich that's the best way to piss them off and I think this is ingenious at a super high level because um, one of the most one of the strongest uh, emotions that people can feel is that when they want to prove someone wrong okay and when there's a common enemy that they want to band together against so once again Gary Bensevenga realized this and uh, he came up with an idea that uh, has this purpose motive behind it and you know I have a bachelor's degree in psychology and uh, actually my dis dissertation paper was about was about intrinsic motivation and uh, um, there's actually a lot of research behind how powerful this purpose motive is like uh, instead of trying to motivate people with money if you can build a sense of purpose in them that they're fighting for a bigger cause together in a group setting well that makes it much more powerful in a persuasion sense compared to just trying to like pay them more or something that works to some degree but like after a while it gets flat and people just don't care anymore it gets diminishing returns but the purpose motive not really that much and also many people have tons of frustrations inside and they just want to uh, find a common enemy you know we are still primates we are we are relatively rational animals and once again from a biology for a neuro uh, neuro uh, psychology and neurobiology and evolutionary psychology uh, point of view we all have hardwired systems in our brains that are 
you know, fundamentally us versus them. So even if they're super peace, you know, back in the days, there was various wars and world wars and, and all types of things. Nowadays, when there's no big major worlds, thank God, uh, you have other types of divide and conquer. You have other types of us versus them. You have Democrats versus Republicans. You have uh, woke people versus conservative people. You have... Uh, I don't know, various types of LGBTQ activists versus themselves even many times or like people who are still like who have tunnel vision and don't even want to acknowledge that, you know, like gayness can be something that exists. Um, and and it's, it's something that's hardwired into us. And if you can be the one who can help your target, who can identify with your target audiences, uh, pains, fears, hopes and dreams and like help them throw rocks at their enemies, you are like a messiah to them and they are going to buy from you. And especially if you if you uh, like really want to help them, if you communicate that you are the person who is there to help them do this, it's golden. It's something that, uh, that no, nobody else can give to them, okay? And that's exactly what Gary's promotion did. So it it uh it kind of acted as this as this huge motivating force to give people to rile all these emotions up in people and then create desire for the eventual product that uh this piece is going to sell and at that point people felt like you know the guy behind this uh and the guy behind this is i'm guessing rough times uh this person, you know, who's the face of the company itself, uh, no, like Mark Skousen, Skousen, I'm butchering his name, sorry about that, but like the reader at the end of this felt like, you know, this guy just gets me, so whatever he says, I'm gonna do, it's very, very powerful, and Gary Bensivenga was the master of this, so I wanted to, like, you know, make this video more of a high-level strategic view because it's this is this promotion is so long, it would take forever to like properly analyze it at a granular level. Level, but uh, the one thing you have to understand about copywriting, and especially if you're writing to very very competitive competitive niches like financial or health, is that. Uh, the, your big idea is the most important thing uh, that you know really determines whether your uh, promotion is going to convert or not. The big idea is way more important than even the headline. Uh, so if you if you don't give people a new angle, something that they can quickly and easily grasp and that creates an instant emotional connection with them, then uh, then it's just not gonna hit hard, okay? You can use the best headline formulas in the world, you can use the best sales page structure or formula in the world, it might still not work well because like people won't care enough. You gotta rile them up emotionally and you wanna make it in a unique way. For example, one of Gary Bensevenga's other promotions that I broke down, I think it was like video 20 something or something, I don't know, I'm gonna leave a link to the full uh, playlist below this video in the description section, check it out because it's really worth a look. So Gary had a promotion called Get Rich Slowly, which again, the big idea was that everybody's trying to like, like sell you on the pipe dream of like get rich quick, like get rich overnight, become a millionaire and all these big bold uh, claims. But he realized that people are getting skeptical of this. So he came up with something like get rich slowly, which was like slowly but surely. And you know, this something like this immediately, uh, connects with people if it's something new because nobody else up until that point uh, used this uh, specific angle before. Nowadays probably it's been copied many many times but like in that specific niche that he was working in this wasn't a thing and uh, it's a great example of how to subvert expectations and how to come up with a big idea that's super uh, super different and you know David Deutsch as well uh, always says that you know uh, you should Try to do the opposite of what is the, the status quo and common sense in your headlines or in your big ideas. Try to uh, try to come up with a promotion that, you know, um, he, he mentioned one of his calls because I'm in his inner circle program. He mentioned uh, a promotion. I don't remember exactly um, 
who it was written by, but it was definitely someone who's a titan of direct response. So it worked for boardroom. Uh, I don't remember the name now, but it was something like, uh, are you had enough? I think that was the headline only had enough. And it specifically talked to people who, uh, you know, are health conscious, but their doctors uh, are constantly telling them stuff like don't eat so much fat, don't drink so much uh, coffee, don't put so much salt on your food, watch your cholesterol, watch your body weight, uh, be more disciplined. And it's like, you know, it has a lot of frustration in people. So this copywriter came in, maybe it was Arthur Johnson, but I'm not exactly sure about it. Um, he came in and he said, had enough? Like, aren't you tired of like, of like, worrying about how much coffee you're drinking? What if, you know, it's not about how much coffee you drink? What if coffee is actually good for you? And then he came on with a, with some uh, scientific studies that prove that coffee isn't always bad for you. Uh, so it was really something uh, interesting and the big idea was something pretty cool there. So just to also give you like a little bit of structural overview of what's going on in this Magalog. Uh, the design is very important, obviously here. I really like it, but it's uh, it's basically lies, 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 and it's all uh, fascinations and bullets. And once again, uh, one of my first, many of my first videos actually uh, was about uh, fascinations because it's something really, really uh, important in copywriting, uh, fascinations, basically create desire for whatever you want to sell people or whatever you're teasing, but they have a huge uh, curiosity element to them as well. So it's like a one-two punch because it has a benefit part and it has a curiosity part. And the only way for you as the reader to really find out what's going on here is to uh, buy the product or to read more, okay? Uh, and as you'll see, like everywhere, it's going to be like, this just seems like um, a table of contents for a book, but in fact, it's kind of like uh, fascinations in most cases. Here, maybe not that much, but in many cases with Gary Ben Savenga stuff and others as well, it's all fascinations when it comes to uh, the table of contents. And then obviously, uh, the other cool thing is that the uh, the sales letter itself, it's pure content. Like it gives away tons of real, real tips, okay? So uh, let's just go through the, the subheads itself because one of the other cool things about copywriting or important things is that you wanna make your subheads like this basically have like a parallel little narrative to the main body of your copy. So the things that you're describing in copy, because not everybody, almost nobody uh, is going to read everything like verbatim. Well, not today at least, but in those times, if somebody bought, like bought this, they will read it and they will be more uh, more active about this. But you want your, your subheads, as people are uh, scanning your subheads, to also understand what this whole thing is about even if they don't read the main body of the copy itself. So let's see whether we can understand it if we just go through it quickly. So why we investors are fed up with everyone lying to us, but getting rich is the best revenge, uh, smartest ways to do it in 1990, 1991. Also inside America's financial hall of shame. Shame on you. Uh, we've had it with Sue Happy Lawyers. You know, a bunch of frustrations that uh, <clears throat> people already uh, have. Like Gary isn't trying to like build artificial frustration. He just taps into the already existing ones. And I really like this Darth Vader uh, image of the IRS. It's really descriptive. So the table of contents, investor revolt. Why we investors are mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. And we're sending a message too. And this is what I said. Let's see how it goes. Uh, the IRS, you can take too much of our money only to pour it down federal rat holes. Solution, seven powerful ways to slash taxes legally and retire like a king. Here's a fascination, a cool fascination. Seven powerful ways to slash taxes legally and retire like a king. Like, wouldn't you wanna know the uh, solution to that? Of course you would. Well, you'd have to read page 16. And then on page 16, I bet there's some type of fascination that makes you read even more. Or like the uh, Wall Street brokers. We don't trust you anymore. Your first goal is to make commissions, not to give us objective advice, which is true. 
a much better source of investment counsel, including the 12 best and 3 worst investments now. The Fed. It's outrageous that you manipulate the economy for political advantage. But we're on the game. Here's how any investor can ride the business cycle to the 50% richer, to be 50% richer two years from today. So it's all fascinations here uh, with cool little graphics as well, like down with wasteful bureaucrats, page 15. That's exactly what the target audience is feeling. Getting rich is the best revenge, page 8. Lynch, Mary Lynch, page 16. Awesome, amazing. So let's see, then we have some credibility section from, from, from this guy. Fiercely independent financial advisor, Mark Skousen, Washington's number one financial insider. Close contracts at the White House, Fed, all government branches and world money centers. Former CIA economist officer, White House press corps. So this is just to like build credibility and authority for him uh, so that people from there on out, they're like, wow, this guy must really know what he's talking about. So here uh, you have even more fascinations like uh, these incredible zero coupon bonds guarantee a fabulous eight to one dollar return, 100% tax deferred. What can it be? Well, read it on page 13. Best stock I ever found under $2. This one's going to $10 and soon. So it has a cool like urgency element to it. And then flash bulletin. Mideast oil war will affect all your investments. See how, page 7. So it's all like various types of informational tidbits uh, in, in very strong fascination. And then let's just see. Uh, this is basically the same thing. That we had before and then he, here is where the actual copy starts so it's like dear feather fellow investor the experts say that the individual investors like you and i are motivated by two emotions only fear and greed well they're wrong i've seen another powerful force slapping shaping investors attitudes as never before and that's anger righteous anger with all those who are either lying to us or dreadfully mismanaging our wealth. In this letter, I invite you to join a powerful grassroots movement of investors who are no longer putting up with it. But who exactly are we revolting against? So uh, it's amazing, like right off the bat, there's no so-called throat clearing copy. Gary just gets right into the action. It's super easy to read. It makes sense. It Gary always says the right stuff at the right time, okay? And it already starts appealing to people's anger. And then once again, uh, he starts um, like unpacking the message. It's like, who are we angry against? Well, we are angry against newsletter gurus because here's why, the IRS um, and other people. The first subhead, come join our investor revolt. So it's not like, you see the movement, uh, it's just like uh, uh, the purpose motive that I mentioned. It's like, don't just, you know, buy this. It's like, come join our movement, our investor revolt, because I'm sure that almost everybody, anybody uh, who's an investor can really uh, associate themselves with it or like really uh, feel how this can apply to them. Uh, Fortress-like protection extreme selectivity, the great guru hoax. Almost every newsletter guru under the sun now claims to have called the crash of 1987. If that's true, how come so many of their readers got creamed? Good point, preemptive objection handling because some uh, some of the readers eventually would say, okay, this sounds interesting, but like, what if you're also a guru? Like, uh, And then we, we uh, answer this objection preemptively. Why Mary Lynch is closing offices by the dozen. This is, once again, it's something interesting that a lot of investors would definitely like to know. Three simple rules to protect yourself or your loved one against unscrupulous brokers. You see, this is just a quick like um, value bomb, let's say, just a simple value bomb here. Never sign a margin agreement, never sign a discretionary account agreement, never sign an options agreement. So this is just like a quick three-step um, little um, value thing that, once again, it just gives something truly cool to people without even buying something. But this gets them reading more and more because they're like, oh, wow, if, if this whole piece is so powerful, it's so valuable, like imagine what I can get in the, in the paid version. 
so you know there's there's a bunch of things going on uh, and then most of these megalogs had you know they their chapters are predefined you know in in the beginning so it's like the first part is going to be about list brokers then it's politicians uh then it's social security uh gurus irs and, and and all these things so we can already see like the first one version of this and it's like notice how the background becomes green here the big hidden lie your stockbroker will never admit and six other shocking facts about brokers like why wouldn't you want to know this if you're an investor and you're probably using brokers? Everybody has this feeling that my broker is probably ripping me off. And uh, with this, Gary knows this, and he uh, gives you, he just, he wants to give you a sobering picture of what most brokers do. And this is how most people imagine brokers, because this is how they are. I used to work in a wealth management company, so I can attest to the fact that most brokers are probably like this. Uh, although not everybody. Lies politicians tell. Plus, the powerful wealth building secret America's richest families have known for decades. I solemnly pledge to. Uh, this is once again something that everybody says this uh, when, when they enter office and they lie. Lie. And I, I mean, this part in itself, I think, was responsible for tons of sales because, I mean, imagine like. Most people think that politicians are liars. And it's like, how many times, especially if you're older, like the target audience, how many times have you seen someone say, I solemnly pledge to uh, raise no new taxes. I will cut back government bureaucracy. I will balance the federal budget deficit. And then yet nobody does it. So, uh, or like only they do only do it briefly. So most people can definitely identify this. And these are the things that actually make them trust uh, the guy behind this, the face behind this whole promotion, uh, almost in absolute terms. Then you have confessions of an ex-broker, like mini stories. You, you have these, these mini story interjections. What a mess all this is. Our present showdown is no accident. You know, uh, Skousen's un, unmatched record of accurate predictions. This is like a huge proof element because at this point, some people might be wondering, okay, cool, you seem like a nice guy, but like you, you yourself mentioned gurus, like what if you're also making like incorrect predictions? But no, you know, uh, Gary preemptively answers the objection by saying, look at this, everything from here was uh, predicted by our guy. The social security lie, the number one stock group to own now. So there's always these lies, which uh, like debunked, everybody longs the myth busters, the, the debunking type of shows like that uncover secret lies and, and government secrets and stuff like that. But at the same time, there's also a, a, like a, a benefit driven thing that's going on in that, you know, you can learn this and like, this is the, the stocks that you should own. And you see, there's value here. Once again, it's like, it already gives the answer. Answer, utilities. Utilities will be an all around winner in so many ways during the next 12 to 24 months. So it's not everything that people have to, um, uh, you know, buy the product for in order to discover. A bunch of things are given away by Gary for free. And it's a very interesting thing. And I first heard this from Ramit Sethi, I think, is that even if you give away your product, 80% of it, you give away for free, people will still buy it just to get the remaining 20%. And it's super powerful because once again, if we go back to psychology, we have this inbuilt mechanism to tend to complete things. So if we start something, we want to complete those things as well. Uh, and it gives us extra motivation and push to make sure that we do it. Uh, and another thing is that, um, I don't know, I forgot what I wanted to say here, but uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's very visible how Gary actually delivers so much content here and gives away many, many golden nuggets and then maybe the best or best of it is still kept for the paid product. Or like he, he just gives away everything and says, you know, since markets are always changing, um, I, I cannot really like predict everything right now. So the only way for you to, you know, stay, stay in the loop 
and to stay uh, updated regarding these things is to is to buy our our newsletter service because then you will be the one the first one to know when something's happening and uh, what you should do like you should sell this buy this and and stuff like that so uh, then you have a bunch of other like proof elements and notice how uh, the promotion is starting to shift from from uh, like outrage and like describing the problem to uh, integrating more proof, more numbers, no, more uh, benefit driven things that stimulate more greed rather than anger. So the first part was all about anger and now you have more about greed. Like as people are reading this, like from $3 a share to $37 a share, wow. And then you have like a picture of uh, Royce Royce, I, I, I guess. Uh, their greed glands are starting to salivate, as Gary Halbert would say. So uh, Washington Insider denies that his privileged information gives investors an unfair advantage. Once again, it's uh, it's something that uh, that most people already believe. So Gary is just confirming their pre-existing beliefs. And that's what you want to do as a copywriter. Gene Schwartz talked a lot about this, like how uh, you shouldn't try to manufacture, manufacture new desires, but instead you should try to tap into already existing desires that the market has and then just, just validate the same desires because people are already feeling this and they know this. Uh, they know that there's a bunch of corruption that's going on and you know this piece just confirms it. Shame on you, Ivan Bwetsky. I don't know who he was or who he is, but uh, I'm guessing to the target audience, he's like a big no-no guy. And this connects with them even more. Uh, the SNL bandits. <laughs> what a nice little uh, design element here as well. Uh, these incredible zero coupon bonds guarantee an eight to one return and they're 100% tax deferred. Once again, more greed stuff. Uh, then we get to the IRS and I think that this is the, the, the best design element of the whole promotion, like IRS auditor. It does seem like Darth Vader is coming after you when you get an audit from the IRS. Uh, and then we have mankind's three greatest lies of all time. One, you know, it's it's interesting, it's curious. You wanna definitely you wanna like discover it. Number one, I love you in the morning as much as I love you tonight. Ooh, your check is in the mail. I'm from the IRS and I'm here to help you. Ooh, <laughs> I'm from the IRS and I'm here to help you. This is something really that connects with people because I guess most people are absolutely terrified of the IRS and uh, this just drives the point home really well. Ways for bureaucrats. You see, this part is still based on anger. The core emotion here is anger, but here to the left, it's greed because it's like the best little stock I've ever found under $2. This one's going to $10 and soon what this one what is it what is it and and why is it going up soon i want to find out i want to get in before others before soon expires it's really powerful and then lynch merrill lynch for three good reasons reason one hypocrisy reason two underperformance reason two poor value uh this is just like uh once again connects with people's anger and like the the crowd sentiment as well and then eventually uh, we get almost to the offer itself. So as you can see, we are shifting to more, um, more little, more fascinations on what you can expect. Like you can get 30 great investment ideas in 30 minutes, how to protect your privacy against the IRS. So just a minute ago, the IRS was Darth Vader. And now you get how to protect your privacy against the IRS and everyone else. So it's like how to defeat Darth Vader, basically. It's really a really cool little loop. So uh, at this point, this is basically the end of the regular uh, piece here. So uh, at this point, we already got introduced to the offer itself and um, this special report, 50% richer two years from today is yours free with an introduction to forecast and strategy. So once again, just like the offer structure that even today, many financial promotions use, almost all of them, is that they hype up a free bonus, a free premium. They also call it like that. And in this case, that's 50% richer two years from now. And then uh, you can get that for free if you, or like when you subscribe to uh, the newsletter. 
and then you can save big you know normally the price is 139 but now you can get it for 99 which is by the way quite an expensive newsletter subscription for 1990 because nowadays most of these front-end subscription services cost either 49 or like or like 79 or something like that uh, so it's quite expensive but like you, you have the same offer structure that we've looked at many, many times before. Once again, I, I recommend you check out one of my, or some of my previous uh, proven sales that are breakdown videos as well, because uh, it's very similar how it's presented. And then we have the sign off. You get a bunch of bonuses if you join. And um, we have the last of these uh, little future paced elements here. Sue Happy Lawyers, which was already teased a little bit. And then in the PS section, we get like a reason why, like, you know, if you buy this uh, or when you buy this, basically you get all these cool bonuses, but you got to act soon. So there's some type of urgency as well. And then, you know, we get like a, uh, a recap, like a value stack uh, recap of everything you get. So this is the, the, the whole premium that was uh, hyped up in most of the uh, news of the uh, Megalog. So 50% richer two years from today, uh, free with your subscription, and then you get all these cool things about it. Uh, plus you get a bunch of bonuses and there's guarantee, like double guarantee. And then here's the order form. Uh, it's pretty cool. I, I really like how it's, um, you have this little cutout element here and the design here is very, very good from a conversion rate optimization and in user experience point of view, this is very good. It's like no risk trial subscription certificate. So it's not like an order form, it's called certificate. And even to this day, some, some of the more creative companies are using names like certificate save 40 percent this once again triggers something in our brains that you know people like to save money more than they would like to gain 40 percent extra you know and then one two three so four it's like four simple steps like uh you know cut this out out choose your option and there's two options so that people are less likely to say no to this but instead of saying yes or no they'll be wondering whether it's option a or option B and it's like B is obviously like it's a better deal because it's cheaper if you break it down and you get all these cool bonuses for it uh, so most people are going to check this then like check your method of payment once again it's to give um, an, an ease of use to people to give, give them convenience but also to like um, increase sales because they are going to they're not going to be wondering whether they should pay or not but instead which one to pick and then you know finally your address and then there at the right we have like the 100 percent no risk double guarantee so you have double guarantee you have like signatures that adds credibility to it you also have like a, a faster toll-free number that you can call and then you can order directly on the call itself and then at the end you know we get once another value stack here like you get this bonus which is like this value you get bonus number two bonus number three bonus number four uh it's it's really really cool although i'm, I'm wondering why they only gave it like a ten dollar value obviously it's like way more than that like how to raise fifty fifty thousand dollars over the night night i mean that seems like a very high value thing it's like only to value it at ten dollars or like how to protect yourself, how to like even save taxes from the IRS, that's worth way more than $10. And then this is probably the envelope that they used. It's like inside, lies, lies, lies. Getting rich is the best revenge, specific plan, and flash bulletin. Cool. So yeah, uh, Gary Bensavenga, ladies and gentlemen, he it's, it's no wonder why he was considered the best copywriter of all time. Uh, too bad he's retired now, but uh, I mean, you can only be the king for so long after it you get tired and you you do deserve a well you, you do uh have the option to take a well deserved deserved break but uh, i'm really glad to be able to analyze uh stuff from a masterful copywriter like him so uh wow i guess we're almost at the 40 minute mark mark even though you know we haven't even analyzed the nitty-gritty of this itself 
but if you're still here, kudos to you. You're awesome. Thank you so much for watching. And you just received uh, an advanced copywriting uh, education for free. Some people might charge like $100, $200 for a masterclass like this, but you can watch it for free on my channel. So if you liked it, please make sure to like the video, subscribe as well, and make sure to share this with others who might be interested in it because I wanna spread the word and uh, uh, maybe it can help a lot of other people as well. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here with me and, uh, and, and uh, watching these videos and I wish you the best. See you in the next one.